Hey there, this video is gonna be a little bit different from my usual review videos. Instead, it's gonna be an overview of my process of fixing my dead 2011 MacBook Pro. Well, as you can see here, I got it working because I'm recording this after I fixed it. But either way, it's gonna be an overview of my process of fixing it through reflowing the CPU and GPU chip because those were the main cause of all the issues of the 2011 MacBook Pros, which is actually a known issue to Apple even. They even extended their repair service for it. But either way, let's get started. So first step is to open the MacBook. Get your Phillips screwdriver and remove all the screws. Pop it open. So as far as I know, you don't need to remove the battery or the hard drive or the disk drive. Uh, you probably want to remove the RAM though, but your main focus is the main board, the logic board. So we'll tackle that. First, I'm going to remove the RAM. Don't want to break that. And now you can start unscrewing, but first I like to remove all the cables. You have to remove this. There's two cables under this little metal shroud. So we're gonna do that. So we'll take the fans out now. Uh, you need a Torx now. You don't need a Phillips. You need a Torx. Okay, so that should release the fans. There we go. Nice and simple. We'll put that aside. And now let's take this cable out. Oh, actually I forgot this one here. Yep, oh, there's one more. Always double check. A check to see there's no other cable. Okay, we should be good. Now, uh, still keeping the Torx the same size, we're gonna take the logic board out. So I think I got everything here. So we'll try and get it out. And underside here, this is gonna be very hard to see, but underside here, there's a cable. So just wiggle it out. There we go, and there you go. Now you have it free, the logic board. So we're gonna put aside this because we don't need it because we're dealing with the CPU and the GPU. I'm gonna bring a board on the table too because now it's gonna be a heat gun after it and I don't wanna kind of burn this table so I'm just gonna put another board on top. This is just actually an old cabinet door that I found in the garage, so I'm using that as a surface. And yeah, you're now gonna need your heat gun, isopropyl alcohol for cleaning off the thermal paste. So we're gonna start by removing these heat pipes. So you're gonna need your Phillips screwdriver again. Be careful not to lose the springs. They have springs on the screw, so. Now we take off this heat pipe. Ooh, you're gonna have to clean them off. So isopropyl alcohol, and some coffee filters, or in my case, paper towel. And I'm almost done. So that is good. Uh, we actually need to clean this too, but we're gonna clean that while we're waiting for this to cool down. So instead, we're gonna heat it now and try to get it to reflow. So now we're gonna put this aside and we're just gonna let it cool down. Meanwhile, we're gonna clean the heat pipes. 
Once again, isopropyl alcohol, wipe it down, and yeah. Okay, good. Now it's clean and set. So, now we wait. We wait for the board to cool down. So, the board has cooled down, so we'll clean it off with isopropyl alcohol and then we'll put it back together and that should be it. Okay, looking good. I'm gonna dust it off once again. And obviously we need to do it on the, on the heat sink block too, or the heat pipes. Air it out. And we're good. Now we're gonna apply thermal paste. That's that. So now we set it back in. Same thing, but just reverse to what we've done so far. So now, with all the heat pipes back on and everything, we're good. Now we just have to reassemble everything. Moment of truth. There is no graphical flicker that I used to have. Oh, okay, cancel. And there you have it, MacBook working once again. So that is how I fixed my MacBook Pro. If there's any interest for a step-by-step -step guide, I can certainly make one. But if not, then we'll leave it at this video because I don't even know how many people still have a 2011 MacBook Pro. But <laughs> either way, if you liked the video, consider leaving a thumbs up. If you guys want more, consider subscribing if you haven't. And if you have anything else to say, questions, comments, leave in the comments below. Now, I'll see you guys in the next video.